Okay, terrific. You know what I love doing? Shit twice. So, pro tip when you're trying to record a tying video, don't have it on autofocus, you big dum dum. Because when you go like this, spoiler alert, it's going to, you guessed it, autofocus on your dumb hand. So, that didn't come out. So, we get to do it again. Winner tube, you've seen it a million times or haven't. I've tied it a million times, for sure. Some upgrades uh, this year we'll go over. So first and foremost, Renz Eddie Traveler. Something to keep in mind, um, the Game Changer Jaws, which I absolutely love, hold uh, any tube adapter. Pro Tube, Froden, Aquaflies, which I'm tying with today. Shout out, Yetamaya. That's Jeremiah. So, yeah, I've got the tube adapter there. We're going to be tying on, what size are these? 8 mil and then 3 mil. Is that right? Why is the 3 mil smaller than the 8 mil? Am I mental? Whatever. So, if you haven't done this before, get some crappy scissors they don't care about. Cut off. I don't know, however much that is, an inch or so, set it aside. Then get the thicker stuff or wider diameter. Let's just call it large. And cut off another length, like that. Slide that guy on. It's going to go all the way to the back. Don't worry about it. Get the little itty bitty. Slide that guy whatever there. What I do is just get zap a gap, super glue for the novice. See, super glue would cost like two bucks, but since it comes in this, it's seven. Welcome to fly fishing. So just shove that sucker in there as far back as it will go, and then shove that just a little bit up. You kind of got to fiddle with it. It'll spin the first couple times and you'll be like, this sucks, and it does. But once you get um, kind of the right, whatever, I was going to say balance. That's not the right word. Look, people, I'm, you're not here for my vocabulary. Okay, let's just tie this fly. We got 5.5 millimeter. Does any of this stuff matter? Probably not. 7.30 seconds. This is all for the nerds out there, okay? Myself included. But what exact cone? Doesn't matter. It's pink and it's aqua flies. So some companies have been having trouble getting tube stuff. Um, no shame thrown on them, but I need it to tie. This is my job, to catch fish or teach people how to catch fish or whatever. But Aquaflies has a ton of stuff all the time, so it's great. So basically just get that cone all the way to the end. This is something I do that's real dumb, but I like it. Is I just wrap the thread around the tube making a little hot spot, and then I have like 40 different types of UV cure. They're all applicable to different situations. This stuff, it's like I've fixed windshields and um, fucking stuff that smells good. What is it? Um, incense holders of previous partners that I broke on accident, ceramic stuff. It, it, it'll fix anything. Um, so there. <laughs> that's what it does. I'm so glad my furnace just turned on right now. Love that background noise. So that just, whatever, it's a little hot spot back there. Do you have to do it? No. And then new for 2024, where did I put it? Here we go. This stuff's awesome. <clears throat> um, I think it's RD, which is like Renzetti's uh, material company, I believe. What does this say? I don't know. What does it say? Just add H2O. Who knows? It's called Frenzy Brush. Just That's the important part. <laughs> There's a one inch and just midnight or black, if you will. So the cool thing about, I just have a little piece right here. The cool thing about the brushes is they're on wire, obviously. So they never break. It makes your fly just way more, um, you know, the word I'm looking for. Uh, wow, stupendous just popped in my head. That's wrong. Durable, <sighs> okay, and um, dubbing balls suck, 
they barely prop anything up. Uh, they do um, come apart and they don't really, uh, they don't do anything. We used to do them all the time, myself included. Not a fan anymore. So I just do two wraps. You can do as many as you want, but just keep in mind. Oh, maybe. Eh, yeah, two. We're just going to do two. Ow. So watch out because that um, wire will poke you like that. So just two wraps. Tie it off. Get your shitty scissors again. Um, it just makes a really good shoulder without a lot of work. And like I said, my favorite part is it doesn't unravel or just come undone. It, everything sticks in there pretty good. So that's just like a little puff piece, right? Boom. Then we get another brush. Um, same stuff, Frenzy, two inch. This time this is blue, but they call it light blue. Sure, why not? And basically you just kind of just clean it up a little bit by pulling some of it off just for a, a better tie-in point. And then just like with kind of any material, just make sure all that stuff's going in the same direction, kind of exposing that core so you get the best wraps. And this is like, again, two wraps is plenty, but do one or three, I, I don't care. Look, see, that's good. And then whatever, try to get that. Okay, get back roll this. And then just, you know, tie it off. Crappy scissors at work, a lot here. Let's pull that back. A couple wraps, you can brush it out. I like to, it's not necessary, but there. I mean, that's a pretty cool shoulder. It's got a little hot spot back there. It's got that darker background of the black to make that hot spot and that bead pop. And then, you know, blue's always good, right? Then you get Marabou. I like that Kingfisher blue stuff. Um, but this platform will work with any color combo. So you kind of look to where the, where the feather bends. That's kind of where you want to strip to. I do leave a little bit of that thicker part of the stem. Um, the last wrap I do with that thipper, thicker stem, it kind of props stuff up. Um, just makes it a little bit larger of a profile. I like larger flies. Um, that's the stuff I tend to tie myself because that's when, if I'm fishing a bigger fly, that means the water's dirty, which means that we're probably gonna get them. Um, the fish are more aggressive, so I want them to be able to see it, but I don't want it to be impossible to cast. There's not a lot of weight in here. And I want it to look really good because I, I just feel really optimistic that we're gonna get one when the river's up and it's on the drop and there's some color in the water. Um, if it's clear or really clear and low, throw whatever you want. They're seeing it from a mile away. It doesn't need to be big. It doesn't need to be anything because they're probably not going to eat it most of the time. Um, so I don't tie small flies. I just, I just fish like um, the umpqua or aqua flies, um, shot flies that we have. They're good. Um, but there isn't really anything that's uh, tied commercially that I see um, that looks like this. I mean, there's, there's stuff, there's marabou tubes, right? It's not like, oh, wow, look at this crazy different fly I'm doing. It's just kind of the attention to detail or, or whatever. It just, I, this is what's happening, okay? I'm not going to sit here and rationalize shit. This, this is what happens. So we got that. Add some ostrich. <clears throat> Whatever you want, Aria. The MFC stuff, you know, there's a million companies out there. That's why I don't just like, oh, I'm just using this. Um, everybody makes really good stuff, but companies make really, really good, like one thing or two things. So MFC stuff is pretty close to Rhea. Um, it's not super thick, which is fine. Um, the barred stuff's neat. I like it. So cut off, I don't know an amount, like seven or eight or 10 or whatever. These ones are real thin. And then I just kind of square off the, the ends there for a good time point. I'll do this side first. So you just want them a little bit longer than the marabou. 
That's not gonna. Why are you doing that to me, man? Come on. And you know, what I do is just kind of two or three loose wraps, and then I get my thumb, kind of a musky fly technique, and and roll that um, ostrich around that tube. And I can hear people now just being like, "Why not put in a dummy loop?" Because I fucking hate those things. They're stupid. They suck. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like doing that. I don't want to put them in one at a time, then back, wrap, and then wrap. There's a million ways to do it. That's just the way I do it. You don't have to do it this way. You don't even have to watch this video. You just get up right now and walk away. Turn it off. This sucks. Um, go a little lower here. This thing's really been picked through. Okay. I'm going to put this one kind of on the top and towards a little bit towards me. Usually it's like three clumps of them that I, I do. I used to just do it on the sides and it kind of work as little bat wings um, to not to help it not spin in the current. Um, also, do whatever you want, but I all my flies I ride hooked down. <gasps> oh my God, you're never going to hook a fish that way. Trust me, we have. Um... Hook down just has your fly track better. Oh, you're going to get them in the tongue. Am I? Have it yet. So again, don't know what you're talking about. But do whatever you want. I just, you don't have to put a big wing in there. It can just be a completely circular tube fly. And it won't spin. Kind of acts as like a little rudder. Sometimes here I'll get a razor blade and get in there and just kind of super close. Uh, you can nick your thread that way. This is all gonna get covered up too, so I've kind of gone back to just a really thin, sharp pair of scissors and, and going around. So again, there's not a lot of wraps on there, so I'm just gonna get the tiniest amount of Zappa Gap and just get it on the thread. Try not to let it run up that marabou because that, that sucks, right? So this just kind of helps reinforce that stuff so it doesn't go anywhere. Again, not a ton, just kind of dabbing. And then I take a sip of my coffee. Mm -hmm. Iced coffee year round. Love it. So we got that. We're going to give a little color blend kind of thingamajiggy here with just some Rhea. Is that right? No. Guinea. Same letters. Some of the letters are in there. The same. But that's not what that is. It's Guinea. This is Nature Spirit stuff. They do have kind of the best guinea. And um, my old boss said, there's no, it can't be a winter steelhead fly without guinea. Well, it can, but it just looks better with it. So it's just natural. Tying it in a couple times. Trimming. And then just kind of folding it back and, and wrapping it. Making sure that stuff doesn't get trapped in there. <clears throat> Wondering if my camera's even recording or if it turned off. We'll find out. Maybe I get to do this a third time. That. Come on now. There we go. That one, that one guy just doesn't want to go, huh? There we go. Ooh. Come on, bud. Really? Why? There we go. Okay, we got some guinea in there. Looks pretty stupid, right? Agreed. But we're going to fix it. Going to look for some black marabou. All mine sucks. I've tied too many flies this winter, so this is probably not going to look great. This is real bad. Do I have any more anywhere? It's over here. Hmm. Dead air. We'll just use this one. It's not good. What's this? <laughs> bad. Okay. We'll see. No promises. It's not a great feather, but. I don't 
don't have any gray ones. Okay, come on, just kind of separating a little tie-in spot there. Give it a couple wraps. Trimming it. Oh, that's great. Uh, if you guys are going to be in Albany, or just if you're in Oregon, in March, there's that big fly tying convention. I don't know when it is. 17th to the 19th, maybe. Just look it up. Anyways, I'll be there. Whole shop's going to be there. Tying flies. Won't be tying this shit. Me tying, like, game changer stuff, musky flies, bass flies, carp flies. Just talking warm water stuff pretty much those two days, so... Come on by, and if you got questions about a flyer, you want me to, you know, you want to see something tied, I'll whip it up. Told you this feather sucks. We're making it work though. It's a little floppy poppy, but it's okay. Just takes a little bit of patience. And if you get close to your thread, there, just kind of hold and wrap forward. You don't want to wrap. Your feather past your thread, obviously. So again, like this thicker stem, you'll see it just kind of props everything up. So where it was kind of like leaning a little bit back, like this, that thicker stem gives it that shoulder again, which I want. I'm gonna just just a little bit less though. There we go. She was getting too thick. I cut. Got it. Just a couple turns, fold it back, wrap it in front. Okay, we're getting there. That guy. Kind of clean it up a little bit. You can see that guinea kind of pokes through and it looks good in, in the water. It kind of comes through, kind of gives it that barring effect. Sometimes I'll put, um, you know, Lady Amherst in there, but uh, not today. And then flash me your, your choice. I like this rainbow stuff for the black and blue flies. I've just been using it for like 10 years. It's just a confidence thing, but you know, I don't think they're looking at the flash. I think it just might just kind of get their attention. Who knows? I mean, they eat those stupid little hair wings in the summer and they don't even look like anything, so. But I just give it kind of two wraps. I don't get crazy here. Two wraps over here, go behind it. That's kind of a key towards the fly. That'll tend to keep it in one spot. So just like that. And I don't spread the flash around. I mean, sometimes I do, but whatever. Just have it in there. Make sure it's not too long so it doesn't fa um, foul on your trailer hook. And then I'm really, this is going to suck. So this thing has been picked over, like I said, it months ago. So it's really not good. Um, I'm just, end up using really good feathers that I would use for musky flies for this and then cutting them way down like that. Like that sucks. I don't want to use that. Actually, that one's not even that good. This one's really good, but like, you know, long that is stupid. I just got to get another one. You know, go to my Amazon wish list and just fill it for me, everybody. Just kidding. I don't have that. So get it over there a little bit longer than the flash. This stuff just, it really stands out in dirty water. And it looks cool. So just getting that, getting that feather on, you know, the, the camera side, but the stem on my side. That's how you get it to get that arc. I didn't learn that for freaking years. Um, it would just, all the stuff would be on the side. I'd be like, this sucks. And it's such an easy trick. I give Jason credit every time I tie a fly. Jason at Portland Fly Shop. That's who taught me that. Like, whatever. Ten years ago. And I was like, Jesus. How is this not common knowledge? How did I not know about this? And how come nobody told me? Okay. Match it up. Let's 
expose the stem. Same thing. This side going over to the other side. And here I do bend these stems back because I've had them pull. It's just that stem so freaking thin. Doesn't want to hold a lot of time. So yeah, I bend it back and I don't trim them. They're in there somewhere. I don't know how to do the multiple half hitch. Somebody come into the shop and show me. So I just do three normal ones. Um, why don't you use a whip finisher? Because, dum dum, Mr. Smarty Pants, it's too long. And so when you go to whip finish it, when you go to whip finish it, you go here and it pulls it off the tube and then you're screwed. So there, what do you think of that? So I just do a couple. Anyways, I'm locking this thing down with everything I got at the end, so probably one would then fine. So again, get your super glue slash zap a gap and just get that thread saturated. So it just really soaks into there. And I do like the orange thread. Again, a little hot spot on the front. It's just something for them to pick up on. It's not supposed to be an egg sucking whatever. Um, I mean, all the years I guided in Alaska, all the time I spent on the water during, um, you know, salmon spawning, I've never seen a leech or a sculpin swimming around with an egg in its mouth. They don't get them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's not a thing. Um, they may like, you know, get remnants or a part of an egg or, you know, some, some little thing like that, but there's not like sculpin and leeches hanging behind Sam and picking shit off or otherwise they just get eaten by the trout. So again, us as fly anglers are stupid. So you got this big chunk of tube here, get pushed from the back. If you pull like this, sometimes it separates the tube. So like your whole work is screwed, cut it, you know, fairly close. You could fish it like that. Kind of bothers me though. Um, there are two, two more, two more little things here. So get your lighter. You want to use the the bluest part. Yep, that's hot. And uh, turn it vertical, and just be careful, and just go right down the middle of it, and just don't wait for it to melt, because if it's melting, it's not going to stop melting, and it can ruin your fly. So kind of just play it by ear. Starts going down. That's about good. Give it a little, little breath. Pop her back in anytime now. There we go. Don't touch it. It's still kind of cooling sometimes. Ruin your fly at the very end there. Love that. And then just to make sure that this is all reinforced and it kind of gives it like a little crispier of a look, I think, is I get that um, UV Sport Fisher again. Just the stuff that's not flexible because that stuff peels off and just kind of kind of dab and rotate, dab and rotate, dab and rotate. I want like a layer. I want every piece of that thread covered. It's like a little helmet <laughs> and uh, make sure there's no fibers in there. Get your wings where you want them and then just hit it with the light. This is the plasma light. Yeah, it's the best. It's huge. People are like, you don't need that. Whatever, don't buy it then. Um, I love it though. I got that one and I got these two that I had before and they just sit here. Just in case. This thing, yeah, it's just mega. Just get that, get that UV in there. Boom. That's it. That's the fly. This is where I take it out of the vise and show you. Just kidding. Zoomed in. You can see it, right? Do the rotation. So yeah, that'll get them. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Go catch some steelhead.